Hello fellow problem solvers, so they're going to be doing this introductory geometry problem that I invite you to try out for a minimum of 20 minutes, ideally an hour, not more than two and a half hours. If you'd like to go longer, let's give it a go for the next 10 to 15 minutes, draw the diagram first. So now, let's begin. ABC is a quad, BAD is 45, ADC and ACD are 75. A, B and C, D are 1, determine this length. Okay. So let's see first, how can we draw the picture? Well, I want to draw the angle bad first. So, okay, we're going to have bad is going to be AD. This is 45. And now what do I need? I need ADC, I need ACD, and this is 75. So ADC is going to be, this is 90. Let's make this like 75-ish. And ACD is also 75. So I get 75, 75. That gives me 30 here. So I have an angle right here. So this is 75. ADC is also 75. And this angle is 30. And I have this length is 1. The length of this is 1. This is 15. And we must find the length of BC. Okay. Cool problem, cool problem, definitely a cool problem. So how are we going to ever connect these angles is the question here. 75, 75, 75, 30, 15. Okay, so what ideas do you have here? For me, an idea here is, let me, and mind you, I haven't seen this problem before. I, this is now me, this is me now solving it. For me, this is saying, well, 75 plus 15 could be 90. 90 is usually interesting in some way, shape, or form. How can I get a 90 degree angle? And I'm thinking maybe if I have a 75 here, if I have a 15 degree angle here, right, then I can have, my question is, can I have it of length one? Can I have some sort of similarity with this triangle maybe? And I get a 75, I get a 90 as well, an angle of 50 in here. Or maybe if I connect this to this, maybe if I intersect them like this, I could get something. Maybe if I intersect AC in this angle, let's see what happens. We have, hold this point E, and now this angle is 60. So what do I have from 60? This is not one. So I have 60, I have 30. So now I know that if this is x, this is 2 times x, that's, that can be useful sometimes. But I've not yet been able to connect it with this thing right here. I have an angle of 15 and a side of 1. So now is maybe the time for you to pause and see what do you want to add. How do you want to connect also this is 1 and this is 1? How do you want to connect these things? together. Pause now for the next 10 to 15 minutes. And here's the next step. So first the question is how do you how do I actually draw this after first figuring out everything about the triangle? Well I first really try to triangle A C D with 75, 75 and 30. And then I realize oh B is just a point such that this is equal to this and that this angle is 15. So that's like sort of the sequence of steps to draw this thing. Now the question is, okay, what is B? Like, what do I have from B? How do I connect this angle of 15 to 75 and to 30? And for me, there are two things that really were playing. So I'm trying to find also BC. And for me, I was trying to see, okay, what happens if I have a 90 degree angle here? Then I have this angle is 45. I have this is equal to this. Can I get anything similar on this side? An angle of 45. I couldn't find that. If you can, post the solution in the comments below. And I said, well, let me, let me actually make, because this is equal to this, is equal to 1. Let me make these triangles right angled, like right, make a right angled triangle by putting a perpendicular from B to AC. Call this point E. And let me also make one here, right here at. Now this angle is going to be 15. And call this point F. Why do I like doing this? I get 30, I get a 30, 60, and 90 triangle here, which is going to give me something cool. I'm like 
sort of, I sort of believe that it could give me something cool. So here what I have, I have CFD is congruent to the triangle CFD because it's 15, 75, 90 and 1, 1 on the hypotenuse. So we have CFD is going to be A, EB. These are going to be congruent. And this congruency gives us that AE is equal to CF. Okay? Now, what do we have from this triangle right here? Well, we have that CF is equal, that 2 times CF actually is equal to AC. Because CF is opposite 30. And then this is, this is 30, this is 90, this is the hypotenuse, so we have this. Now, if we just combine these two facts, we're going to get that AC is 2 times AE. Now, AC is equal to AE plus EC. So we will get that EC is equal to C, is equal to, is equal to EA. And now, what does that tell us? That tells us that this is equal to this. So E is, in fact, the midpoint. And now we know it's a midpoint and has a 90 degree angle here. So it means what? It means that the triangle BAC is in fact isosceles, has BC equal to AB. Another way to prove this is through just, uh, what's it called? You have, actually, how do you prove this in general? Because this is 90. You have this is equal to this. Hmm, I think that's actually an interesting point. Do I not? Oh, yeah, they, it's side, angle, side. Side, angle, angle, side, side, angle, side. That gives us congruency, and that means that BC is equal to AB is equal to 1. And that finishes up our problem. I hope you enjoyed this introductory geometry problem. It's meant to teach you sort of just adding a point, adding points, and playing around with a diagram until you figure out which point to add. I'm actually curious if you find other solutions. I can cover them later. And as always, thanks for problem solving.